your voice of the Valley, AM 1450 KBMW. Turner Bluff Office, early part of the 1 o'clock hour, which means it's time for our brand new segment, Optimum Athletes, brought to you by Optimum Rehab in Wapton. Optimize your health at Optimum Rehab. And joining me today, we got our first Wapton football player of the season, Bjorn Kubala, joining me coming off of Wapton's first win of the year. How's it going today, Bjorn? Good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. And how fun was that to get in the win column last week? And yeah. a, a thriller, no less. Yeah, it felt really good. And uh, Valley, Valley City, it's got to maybe uh, help a little bit that it was Valley City. I think that tends to be one you guys circle on the schedule pretty early. Yeah, we look forward to playing them every year. <laughs> got you. And a uh, little bit, uh, actually, a new part of the segment that we're doing is uh, Tony from Optimum Rehab whips up some questions for us. And let me ask you what Optimum Rehab's question is for this week. Do you have any pregame rituals or superstitions, whether it is uh, something you do before every game or some games, or uh, just dive into that a little bit? Yeah, uh, before every away game, basketball and football, I usually get Eros Compoyo from El Toro for the Ooh. bus ride. And then for football, every home game, or actually every game, I always wear a long sleeve no matter how hot or cold it is outside. I don't know what it is about it. I just like the long sleeve. I <laughs> uh, got you. And uh, how how did that uh, establish? Did you just do that the first week of, uh, you know, when you first started on these uh, teams? Or was that just something you're like, eh, this is going to be my thing? Yeah, for football, I don't know. I guess I always wear the long sleeve because I have long, skinny arms. So <laughs> it would look weird if I just wore, went shirtless under the pads. So mm-hmm. I like the long sleeve look more. Gotcha. And uh, let's dive into the football season then. Your second year as a starter, what are, what's some growth you think you've made from your junior to senior year? Uh, I think I'm reading coverages a lot better than I was last year. I'm seeing what the defense is doing post-snap. Uh, I'd say my connection with Brain Stephens is better this year, definitely. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then staying in the pocket, too. Mm-hmm. I've been My pocket has been better. So tell me a little bit about uh, the way you guys uh, build your offense, because uh, personnel wise, it really would be beneficial to get the ball out as fast as you can. You guys run a lot of quick outs, a lot of bubble screens. Is that something you like to do and as something that you think uh, kind of gets the offense clicking? Yeah, I like to play more high tempo. I like to get the ball into Trayton, Jackson, Braden in their hands because I've once they get in their hands, they'll no one knows what they'll do. So. Do you feel spoiled sometimes having all those weapons yeah, around you? Especially Trayton, I can just hand it off to him and <laughs> who knows what he'll do. So Yeah, you, I'd be pushing for more push passes and stuff like that, you know, get yep. your yards up while you're at it. Yeah, a lot uh, of yak. <laughs> yeah, a lot of yak for sure. And a little bit about your guys' uh, matchup this week. I'm, I'm trying to – oh, my apologies. I'm spacing on who you guys uh, have coming to town this week. Uh, uh, Watford, Watford City. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And a little bit about the scouting report on Watford coming into this. Uh, They run a pretty simple cover two four-man front uh their backers play pretty f- they're spread out quite a bit mm-hmm. not a lot of guys in the box and then offense they run a weird offense I'm pretty sure their coach is the Beulah's old coach so mm-hmm. a lot of trickery so yeah. oh man I hated that Beulah offense yep uh, where you get like uh the, very weird the, like five fake handoffs before it finally gets handed yep. off and somehow Two it's a fumble ruski it's like what is going on yeah and a little bit about um, just the connection that you form with your coaching staff because they put a lot on your plate, Matt. I, I can't believe when I hear about some of the stuff they throw at you, I'm just like, I cannot picture any of my old teammates like being able to handle that. And is it something that you get a little overwhelmed by or is it something where they, they pretty much uh, kind of guide you along and make you comfortable? Yeah, I'm not afraid to ask Evan and Gilby questions. I think my relation with my relationship, relationship with Gil, uh, Evan McCall is – we're really close at mm-hmm. practice. I ask him a lot of questions at practice, and we talk over a lot of stuff about coverage and stuff. And then Gilby, he's always coming up with new concepts and stuff for us to try out in practice. So mm-hmm. it seems like every week we have something that can beat their defense. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. And uh, definitely Evan, someone who has been through the program, you've seen have success, yep. so you know that he knows what he's talking about. Let's uh, switch gears a little bit to uh, the basketball season. And I was telling uh, Bjorn before we got rolling here that uh, I'm a big 3 and D guy. I call them the uh, Jade McDaniels of uh, the Wapton Huskies. You get to use that uh, sport, that length, kind of the defensive guy, and also a guy who can knock down some triples. What do you think of uh, your role, and is it fun? Yeah, I really like playing defense in basketball. I like that more than scoring. I guess I'm a little timid in scoring and mm-hmm. scoring in basketball. Mm-hmm. That's something I could work on this year. But – yeah, I don't know. I just 
I like my role, mm-hmm. but I feel like I need to score more this year. Yeah, for us maybe to succeed. Get into the cup a little bit more as well, yep. or are uh, you gonna still trying to be spaced on the floor? Maybe extend no, the range to, a little bit this year. I need year. to get into the paint this year. Oh, gotcha. Make you more of a threat, so then they yep. can't uh, just leave you out or uh, can't just come up on you. You got to yeah. drive by them. And also, I was told to ask by my uh, my coworker Robert Wanick. I need you to I need to check out these hands. Oh my goodness, he wasn't kidding. So that's got to pay off in uh, football as well as basketball. I'm sure. Yep. Gotcha. And then we'll dive into your third sport as well. And uh, a little bit about your golf career uh, for Wapton. Uh, well, golf, that's probably, I do golf. It's really relaxing mm-hmm. compared to my other sports. So I look forward to it after basketball. It's like a break for me. Oh, I like that. Uh, compared to the rest of the EDC, I mean, I'm not that good. But <laughs> my best scores will probably be like right in the middle of the rest of the EDC. Mm-hmm. But I don't really care. It's whatever. But, yeah, I just like it because Ralph during basketball season is a totally different coach <laughs> than during golf season. So I had talked, about, like with, break. I I like had talked about that with the uh, the golfers. I said I, I can't see uh, Ralph how he is in practice or yeah. the basketball season carried over to golf. Yep. <laughs> it cracks me up. Anything else you'd like to add, Bjorn? And uh, wh- heading, whether it's regarding uh, the upcoming you know, uh, basketball season, golf season, or just Watford City this week, uh, anything else you'd like to add? Yeah, I want to give a shout-out to Landon Ralph, Luke Anderson, Hunter Belke, Chase Marsh, and Owen Scovel. Is that your old line? Yep. There you go. you got to show the old line love. Yeah. Then you don't have to go buy him donuts. You can give him a shout-out on yeah. here instead. <laughs> well, thanks for coming on, Bjorn Kubala. Wapton's uh, standout quarterback and also uh, a three-sport athlete. You know, got we need more three-sport athletes out there, Bjorn. Make sure to try to recruit some people over to some other sports if I you will. can. All right, love to hear it. And now for a quick word from our sponsor, Optimum Rehab. Getting you back to what you love. We are Optimum Rehab. For over a decade, Dr. Tony Egeman has provided physical therapy services for the people of Wapaton, Breckenridge, and surrounding communities. We're a small practice that sees our patients as individuals. Through hands-on techniques, our patients have their treatment plans tailored to their exact needs. Sprains, sore muscles, back pain, achy joints, rehab following surgery, you name it. Optimum Rehab is your answer. When you need exceptional physical therapy, you need Optimum Rehab. 